Hey everybody, um, so this is my Concert 2 presets. So these are, um, like you see in the picture, they're more like rock bands um, and things with crazy lighting. So lots of oranges and blues and reds and greens and all sorts of stuff. You never know what you're gonna get at concerts. So if you look on my portfolio, everything is edited with one of these presets. Um, it's enough to cover whatever you want. Um, so for this video, I'm going to just be covering my standard presets, not the red fix or the blue fix. I'll have a separate smaller video for that. Um, if you're interested in those, uh, to sort of figure out how to deal with really red or really blue light where like everything is messed up, you'll want to check out those videos. Um, but for now, it's sort of the same deal as with the other preset videos, if you've seen those. I'm going to go through and show you all five of these edits and then flip through them back to back. You'll see that I don't have to do much outside of the basic column or basic uh, sort of tab over here. Okay, see you on the other side. Cool, that's it for this photo. Um, granted, this was a an easier photo to deal with, but um, you'll notice I really didn't have to do much. I, I hit the preset, and for some of them, I didn't even touch it after that. So most of them, I adjusted the exposure. Um, there was one I had to use a gradient filter on because this guy was really bright in the back, and I didn't want him to take away from the main action, which is this guy playing and her screaming with, with this nice frame of the mic stand around her. I like this shot. It's one of my favorite shots, actually, that I've taken. Um, so here is a Concerts 3 edit. I think this might be how I actually edited this photo um, when I first took it. Got the Concerts 2. This is a punchier look, um, high contrast, very uh, gritty almost. You got your matte look as well. It's very popular right now. Um, again, not much. Notice how fast I went through these. Now, if you were going to edit this black and white, personally, this is a photo that screams for color, I think. But if you were going to edit this black and white, you could use my black and white presets here. We got black and white 2 and black and white 1, either of which would work for this photo. Now we're going to take a look at the next photo. Okay, so um, this was a band called Machine Heart. Um, realistically, I'd probably crop this in. I'll do that at the very end after I go through and edit all of them. Um, but let's do it. We're going to go through one by one just like we've been doing. Great. So as you can see, another really simple edit. Um, I am just going to crop this in a little bit. See what I can do about that distracting mic stand. It's not the best crop. I might spend a little more time on that if, if I were actually editing this for the band right now, but that's a bit better. So back to the completely unedited shot. As you can see, there's a lot of blue light, but the light on her is actually really good. That's why I didn't use my blue fix here. Um, or I say really good, it's good for what you can expect from a concert venue, which is usually pretty garbage lighting, but it is what it is. Um, so this is my light edit here. As you can see, there's not a huge difference, um, but it is a bit of a nice edit that you could do if you wanted to keep it really, really simple. Now the high contrast edit. For a photo that's sort of as like soft as this one, I, may, I personally may not use it, but if you are somebody who consistently uses a high contrast edit, it could work. Now you got the matte edit. This is the one I like right now. This is my current favorite. As you can see, it does some interesting stuff with the colors, um, but I, I like that. I think it gives an interesting feel to the photo. Now we got the black and white. This is the detail edit. And this is the dark shadows edit both of those could work. Um, now if you saw the portraits preset edit similar to that one I saved the hardest one for last 
Um, this is actually uh, one of my favorite photos I've taken in black and white. Um, in color, it's a little iffy, but let's see what the presets do to it. So again, completely unedited. Um, I actually didn't even do this on purpose, but this is a photo sort of like at the end of my couple's predict preset video or portrait preset video. Um, that's very hazy. There was a lot of smoke here. Um, so here's the light edit. Um, I had to use the dehaze a little bit, but other than that, I kind of kept it how it was. I think I changed the exposure slightly too. Um, this is the high contrast edit. Notice it made it a lot warmer. Um, I don't mind that in this photo. It's not exactly probably how I would edit it. I might want it a little bit cooler. Maybe something like this. I don't know. Um, but it could work. Here's the matte edit. If I was going to keep it in color, I probably would go with that. But like I said, this is how I'm editing most of my photos right now. This is my go-to. Um, but as I said, I actually really like this photo in black and white. Um, he's wearing a lot of black. There's not really any any color in the photo to begin with. It, like even in the straight out of camera photo, uh, photo, you see there's not really a lot going on. Like it's very muted, dull colors. So to me, that screams black and white. So this is black and white two, the detail edit, and then this is black and white one. Personally, I like black and white one on this particular photo. So that's it for these concert presets. If you're interested in the blue fix and the red fix, you can also head over um, and take a look at those. Um, you can go to those specific pages and see those uh, edits. Um, if you are interested in these, these presets, please head over to my website if you're not already there. And uh, you can see that at www.danwrightphotography.com. Uh, you can click for photographers and click presets. You can find all of my preset collections.